In the last 10 years, Minecraft has added and removed some pretty cool features. But today, we are taking a look back at 10 removed Minecraft features that people would love to have back. Starting with the word customization. Many of you might not even know this, but before Minecraft 1.13, you had super detailed word customization options. This allowed you to make big changes to a lot of the game features. For example, you can change the sea level, turn oceans into lava pools, remove villages, remove temples, choose the size of biomes, size of rivers and so on. But there are more options. Going to the next page, you can find that you can change the height of ores. For example, I can make diamonds spawn all the way up to Y level 256, which is crazy. Unfortunately, Mojang decided to remove this feature in Minecraft 1.13. That was due to them rewriting the word generation. Many people, including me, really liked the word customization options, and hopefully in the future we can see these options back. Another removed feature is the void fog. As the name itself, this was seen near the void. So when you were close to bedrock, the void fog would start to appear. This actually gives a cool feeling since you are on the bottom of the world. But at the same time, some people don't like the fog at all. In my opinion, it should have just been an option in the settings. Then everybody would have been happy. The void fog got removed in 1.8 to improve performance as Mojang said, which is hard to believe that it impacted the performance so much, but I can imagine that a fog between the new deep slate blocks would be pretty cool. But what was even cooler was the super secret settings, that unfortunately got removed in version 1.9. The settings themselves were not in a super secret position, since it was just under options. But what the setting did was pretty unique. Once you clicked on the button, your gameplay was a bit different. Every time you click on the setting, you get a random view. Today, we can do the same thing with shaders. And in fact, super secret settings were in game to ensure that shader support was functional. And as expected, running shaders on different computers can cause a lot of crashes. Some people would just click on the button and the whole game would just crash. It was a fun feature since it was so random. You could never predict what's coming. But once the testing period was over, it was removed. Or was it? Some of the super secret settings are still in the game. But they are only used when you are in the spectator mode. Click on a creeper or spider and see how the mobs see the world. This was surely a unique setting in Minecraft. And if you want to check it out with your friends, then use wisehosting.com. Here you can host high quality Minecraft servers to play with your friends. And it's super easy to select the version 1.9 and check out the super secret settings yourself. Don't forget to use the code SHARKER to get 25% off. What people are missing even more is the Notch Apple. This apple is still in the game, but now it is named Enchanted Golden Apple. And after eating it, it will give you all sorts of different effects, which are especially good when PvPing. But what Mojang did remove was the crafting recipe in the 1.9 update. You were able to craft it with one apple and crushing 8 gold blocks into it. But now it is only possible to find it in these structures. And as you can see, it always has a really low chance of spawning. So those golden apples nowadays are more than rare. Many Minecraft players would love to get the crafting recipe back. But then again, it wouldn't be such a special item. Since you can farm apples and you can easily farm gold. The same 1.9 update, which was called the combat update, removed in my opinion one of the coolest features from the sword. And that was using it as a shield. You were able to block the attack by right clicking with your mouse. And then the sword came in front of you. The animation for this was also very nice. When you were blocking with the sword, you were moving even slower than sneaking. But it deflected the incoming damage by 50%. But luckily Mojang didn't just remove all the defense features. They added a shield in that same 1.9 combat update. And the shield was even better at blocking all the incoming damage. But we still lost animation, which was common use for interacting with other players. 
For example, it was used to say hi or it was a peace symbol. Now we do that with crouching. I and many other people wish that they would have kept the sword blocking feature just because of the animation. Throughout Minecraft updates we have had 3 different damage sound effects. But some people really liked the first one that was in Alpha Minecraft. And it sounded like this. <coughs> Then after that in version 1.0 we got the sound like someone is breaking their legs. And from version 1.9 up to today we have this damage sound effect. I think the last one was the most boring out of the three. And that's why people liked the first or second one. It had more character in that sound. Or what do you think? Should Mojang add back a more intense sound effect? Minecraft also used to have much faster minecarts in version 1.7.6. But were the faster minecarts better? Well, they went faster in a straight line, but if the speed went too high, the minecart was able to derail, which was some very cool Minecraft physics. When trying it out now, it seems a bit clunky. But that is because this update was in 2014, so almost 10 years ago. In version 1.7.10, the minecart mechanics were changed back to regular ones, so no more derailing. The minecarts are quite forgotten about anyway, since everyone is using Elydras these days. But I definitely understand why. This is the most OP way of traveling. Then we have one of the most famous glitches in Minecraft, that is the Far Lands. This was a huge wall located 12.5 million blocks away from spawn. But the Far Lands were only possible to reach in the beta version 1.7. And in that version it was impossible to teleport, the command just didn't exist. So if you wanted to reach the Far Lands, you either had to walk 12.5 million blocks or change your player's location in the game files. Unfortunately it got immediately removed after the beta version 1.7. But some people think that it should be added back to Minecraft as a world border. Right now it is just a bluish shield that you can't walk through. So it is a cool idea. And this would make more people want to travel to the world border just to see it with their own eyes. So Mojang, please consider it. Did you know that poppies used to be called roses? For some reason in the version 1.7.2 Mojang renamed them the poppies and also changed the texture. And that's how it's been ever since. I don't know why they did that, but I do know that many OG Minecrafters love the old texture way more. But what they loved even more was to take infinity, then mending and add those enchantments together onto one bow. This changed when in version 1.11 Mojang decided to remove that possibility. And after that we had to choose which enchantment we want to use. And the infinity enchantment on the bow is still so damn powerful. But the cool thing is, there are some minecrafters that still have the world from version 1.11. And until this day they still have the bow with both of the enchantments. So that is a really rare weapon. To learn even more secret stuff about minecraft, check out this video about life hacks. Or host a server with the best hosting company wise hosting. And play any version you want with all of your friends. Until next time, bye!